All right, so the verbs presented so far in this video, they're actually in their infinitive form. Now, what do I mean by infinitive? Well, it is simply this. The infinitive is the word to followed by a verb. Example, to run, to study, to jump. Now, these are all infinitives. Why? Because they have the word to followed by a verb. Now, in Spanish, the infinitives they are the ones that end with the letters AR, ER, or IR, as I just showed you. However, when you're going to talk about yourself and state what you are going to be doing in your free time, you will need to conjugate the verb. But what do we mean by a conjugated verb? Now, a conjugated verb, it gives us more information on who is performing the action. So it tells us if Matthew is the one doing the action, if Justin is the one doing the action, or if Dejanel is the one doing the action. It also tells you if we are all doing the action or if I am doing the action. So a conjugated verb gives us more information on who is performing the action. So it tells us who is doing the action. But for this lesson, we're only focusing on ourselves. So we're going to talk about what you do in your free time. So to talk about yourself in Spanish, you would need to say I. So to say I in Spanish, that is yo. So let's look on this question. To find out what somebody does in their free time, we ask the question, ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? Meaning, what do you do in your free time? Now, para responder, to respond, you simply say, En mi tiempo libre, yo, meaning, in my free time, I. So let's take it from the top. ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? Meaning, what do you do in your free time? And to respond, you can simply say, En mi tiempo libre, yo, meaning in my free time, I. And then on that line right there, that is where you will put the conjugated verb. But how do we conjugate the verbs? Alright, so to conjugate the verbs to talk about yourself, there are two simple steps to follow. Step one you're going to remove the endings. So if it is an AR verb, you're going to take off the AR. If it's an ER verb, you're going to remove the ER. And if it's an IR verb, you're going to remove the IR. So that's step one. So step one, you just remove the ending. Step two, after you have removed the ending, you're going to add an O, all right? So, let's do an example together. We have the verb bailar, which means to dance. And if you notice, it is an AR verb. So, we want to say, in my free time, I dance. Alright, so we would say, en mi tiempo libre, yo. And then remember I said that the conjugated verb will go on the line. So, let's look to see how we would conjugate the verb bailar. Step one, we're going to remove the ending. So because bailar is an AR verb, the ending that we're going to remove is the AR. So we have bailar, and then when we remove the AR, we are left with B-A-I-L. We're left with bile. So we have just completed step one. Step two said that we should add an O. So after we take off the AR, we are left with bile. And then we add an O, so we end up with bilo. So the complete, the complete sentence would read, En mi tiempo libre, yo bailo. In my free time, I dance. So let's go over it again. So we have the verb bailar, ending with an AR. So we removed the ending. So we took off the AR. So when we remove the AR, we are left with bile, B-A-I-L. Look, took off the AR, B-A-I-L. And then we added the letter O. So we ended up with bilo. 
So that's why the sentence said, En mi tiempo libre, yo bailo. Let's do another example together. This time we have an IR verb. How do we know it's an IR verb? Well, it ends with an IR. Now this verb means to live. So step one, we're going to remove the ending. So we're removing the IR. When we remove the IR, we are left with VIV, which is viv. And then we're going to add the letter O. So we end up with vivo. All right. And that's why you always say yo vivo en, meaning I live in, and then you'd give where you live. Final example with an ER verb this time. So we have the verb beber, which means to drink. So step one, we remove the ending. So when we remove the ER, we're left with beb, B-E-B. -E and then we're going to add the letter O. So we end up with bebo. So let's go over the steps to conjugate the verbs to talk about yourself. You simply remove the ending. So you're going to remove the AR, remove the ER or the IR. And then you're going to add an O. So let's look on the question again. The question says, ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? What do you do in your free time? And remember we said to respond, you would say, En mi tiempo libre, yo. In my free time, I. And then the conjugated verb would go on the line. How do we conjugate the verb? Remember we said, step one, you remove the ending. Step two, you add an O.